Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm just going to be doing kind of an analysis slash reaction of the Tales of Tenorio Makoto City release trailer. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And here we go. Hopefully we get some nice stuff on release dates for it, new Tenorians, and story. So. Okay, some lovely music. Some cable car going by. There we go, we've got Chikrook, or Parat, I don't remember, some like goat looking thing, Electric Off, we've got another Cow Tenorian, interesting, Latigent, and it's Prievo, oh, Makoto City's just right there, my bad, my bad, oh, there's a new Tenorian, it's like the, saw that in the, uh, the music video, okay, some Tenorians I probably missed, that shark thingy, another new Tenorian, I forgot what that was called, but that's been, uh, loving that <laughs> goofy penguin thing. Reminds me of, like, something out of Mario. Okay, ooh. Lovely. Oh, so many jump cuts. It's like, the lamppost, that's gonna have some significance. I know that for a fact. Always look an eye out for that lamppost. It it's got some meaning, and looks like it's being exposed here. Okay. That Latin post has been teased for a very long time, by the way, so it should have some interesting stuff. Okay, we've got the stadium. Lovely interior. Okay. <gasps> Wait, we've got actually got a mini game. Let's go. I'm so happy we've got a proper mini game for this. Something this game definitely lacked in its uh, stadiums, and it's really good to, to see something like that. Makoto Beach? Okay. I think we're going to be able to get underwater as some of the leaks were showing us, so we'll probably let's cross that with Barbaro. Dolphib. People chilling out on the beach. Is that like a new ghost in Orion? Something looks like Seleucus or whatever. Pokemon. Ooh, we got a mount on the water. Interesting. Lovely underwater route. Aluminum. I, I cannot like say English. <laughs> looks interesting. Shipwreck. Ooh, maybe that's a shiny. That looks quite a nice shiny. Forty new Tenorians. A bite. Clearly referenced uh, Gabite. Malark. Looking nice. Looks pretty solid for a medieval. I think it's like, you know, step up, but like perfect middle ground. Uh, Alboro, that's what it was called. <sighs> Always been. Pretty cool seeing that thing, even a few years ago. Ooh. Well, it's probably going to have a uh, Guardian version as well. Surely it has to be the Ace. So we've got some more uh, voice acting. <gasps> yes! Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, they look so good. I'm so glad they changed them. Hope they change the animation as well. Loving that. They need more personality. Let's go. Definitely gives them more personality. I'm loving that. Okay, we've got the Dolphibs Evo. The Fantasy and... The Fantasy looks way different in its eyes, especially. Definitely got a remodel there. Got Platagen. Oh, there's everything. New story, 10 plus areas, 40 plus new tenorians. Wow, new legendaries. So much stuff going on Makoto. Lovely. <gasps> and we get our release date. 29th of June, which is in one week. Let's go. One week until Makoto drops, guys. One week. Alongside all of this other stuff for Tales of Tenorio, 
Now, in just a couple moments, you're going to hear from the lead developers, Bia and Topia, about some more information on Makoto and the future of Tales of Tenorio and updates. Before we get into that, however, I would like to announce and reveal all of the winners of our uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Dark Fantasy stuff. Thank you all so much for participating in this. Here's the winners. Congrats. Be up on screen right now. We plan on hosting more events like this in the future, so make sure you follow all of our social medias, our Twitter, join our Discord, and subscribe to our YouTube, so that way you never miss any information about the game. Thank you all so much for your support. Now I'm going to hand it off to Bia. Hey everyone, it's B, director of Tales of Tenorio. let him speak. Thanks for your patience with the Makoto City update. We were pretty overwhelmed with the amount of feedback and constructive criticism at launch. The amount of players and response we received was far beyond our expectations. Let's be real. There was a lot of issues with launch, but we're pretty yeah, definitely a lot of bugs. I wanted to take a step back and show that we're listening with this update. I think in terms of overall exploration, content, character dynamics, and just engaging cutscenes, this update probably breaks new grounds for Tales of Tenorio. However, you'll be able to find that out for yourself and make your own judgment. I also hope that players will be able to enjoy a lot more quality control. The Makoto you would have received closer to launch is 10 times less than what you're receiving. Ooh, okay, definitely a lot less. This update is just the beginning of something much bigger. Will it be worth the two months, though? We'll have to wait and see. Creating it for you. I'll pass things off to Topia now. Thanks Topia, my go. Now I should speak about how the game has been changing significantly over the past few weeks. And now with Makoto being around the corner, we've almost completed the refresh of the code that we wanted to do. Some of you may notice a variety of improved features and smoother gameplay, which can be attributed to this. Every update, starting from the first week of Alpha Growth, has had little to no new issues, and we shall have many long standing. Yeah, definitely a lot less bugs. That That's true. Reviews, but those have yet to be fixed, so they require some changes to older code, or are awaiting from Makoto to be pushed. This includes, but is not limited to, mount clipping, ignoring following, and preloading of assets, such as music and textures. I'm very thankful for the community for hanging in there despite our flaws as a new team. We're planning to soft launch trading with Koso with a far more expanded version later down the line. Now all I gotta say is thank you for all your support and feedback since release. Our balancer physics oh, is supposed here. to make an appearance in this segment, however has been busy due to schooling as well as testing. So he will be making a follow-up post discussing more about PvP, what to expect with it, the changes that have been as well as when we can possibly expect it this summer. Thank you all once again so much for your support, and we will see you June 29th in Makoto City. Right, there it is. Quite a pack direct, I would say, in a pretty good span of time as well. Got basically everything it needed to, some story aspects, new Tenorians, as well as just, you know, yeah, just everything really wanted. Release date, what a W. So, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. I certainly did enjoy that. And if you did enjoy watching this video, liking and subscribing would mean the world to me. And I will see you in another video. Goodbye.